today I am What's up guys, welcome back to another week's episode. So in today's episode, you can tell by the title, I finally managed to buy a set of coilovers for the Mark 1. Um, today won't be a how-to uh, video because I've done basically the how-to um, when we done the cut spring. So I'll leave a card up here if you want to see exactly how to fit or remove um, the suspension on a Mark 1. I'll leave that over here. And then at the end of the video, I'll do a bit of a review of the Mark 1, the, the ARC in the Mark 1 and then also you guys asked in the previous video how the drive is in the Mark 6 so I'm gonna meet up with Wade for a photo shoot a bit later once it's fitted and then he'll give his opinion and I'll give my opinion on the Mark 1 and the Golf 6 so stay tuned for that and um, yeah let's get straight into this week's episode. So same as last week's episode I'll be starting off in the rear just because the rear is much easier um, than the front and actually this whole job is much easier than last week's video the mark one is pretty simple and straightforward um, compared to the golf six so yeah we're going to start off in the rear my dad has started already he's already got the rear um, removed on this side this side still needs to be removed and then i've got the rear adjusted to this side but i might go i don't want the rear too high uh, too low like i said so i might just adjust this but we got the both of the rears adjusted to the same height. Now I'm just going to transfer the rear bush, um, the rubber bush from the old spring onto the coilovers and then we can start installing the rear. So we've got the rear in. It's extremely low. I'm going to take it up much higher. This is probably what I'll have the front at, but the rear, this is way too low for me, so I'll raise that still. But um, I just wanted to let you guys know if you get the ARC that um, the original one that comes on here, on the rear shock, um, it's not actually, it doesn't actually fit on the ARC, so we had to go out and get um, another nut um, with a different thread that actually fits on here, because it doesn't come with the ARC coilovers and the original one doesn't fit on you so if you do get this this is just for you to know that you'll have to get another nut that fits onto this thread the reason i'm raising the rear is purely a um, personal preference i prefer that nosedive look where the front is lower than the rear and for me at the moment the rear is just way too um, low so i'm going to raise the rear a little bit and then we can start tackling the front <music> Um, much better it could still go possibly a little bit higher um, but I am quite happy with where it's at now could possibly go higher but for now I'm pretty satisfied with where it's at so we can tackle the front this is the height in front three finger gap I'm going to try and get that maybe to a one or just lower than a one finger gap the two struts front struts removed all we gotta do now is take the top strap and things off and then put it back onto the coilovers for the front and there we go finally complete this thing is extremely low it's sitting so nice um, I'm really happy with how this thing turned out but I'm not going to show you it just yet um, the car is a bit dirty so it doesn't do it justice I want to give the car clean I also still need to take it for a test drive I haven't driven it yet so I'm going to take it for a test drive check if there's any noises and then I need to do alignment and obviously I want to give the car a wash before I show you guys how it looks but shoo 
Just came back from the test drive now there is a bit of a noise on the left hand side so we put it up on the left and we realized we ran into the same issue we ran into with Matthew um, when we fit the coilovers on the 135 for him. Um, the offset on this wheel is a bit different so the wheel is too, too in and um, the tire is rubbing on the coilover. Luckily I still had a set of um, spaces from Wade that he had way back when he had his VTEC, he gave it to me because he was just standing at home so we put that on and that seems to have done the job the clearance between the tire and um, the coil uh, the adjuster is good so now all I have to do is take it for alignment and then after that take it for a wash and we'll meet up with Wade and I'll also show you how the car looks three days later excuse my face uh, or my voice if it sounds funny it is extremely early um, it's a couple of days later I've taken the car for a wash and I've also taken it for alignment I'm not gonna hold you guys in suspense anymore if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw the car already but um, if you haven't let me show you guys and there we go guys would you look at that? You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. So at the back we've got, if you remember before, my office could fit in here. We've got a two finger gap at the back. And in the front we had, I think it was a three finger gap. My finger can't even fit in, barely. So you can see with the spacer how far the wheel is out. It still clears in here though with a bit of negative camber. I still think I want to get some spaces for the rear just to get that same look. So I want the tire a bit more out and flush with the fender, if that makes sense. But overall, I'm extremely happy with how it turned out. Just look how low this lip is. It's like a two finger gap or three finger gap between the lip and the ground. Like I said, I just want to get um, spaces for the rear as well to get it slightly further out the back wheel so it looks similar to the front but for now I'm extremely happy the reason why I woke up so early is because we're going to get some photos with Wade um, it was initially just supposed to get some photos of the Golf and Wade's car but it turned into a little breakfast run with some friends so we're gonna meet up with them take some pictures and then go get some breakfast. I haven't given your boys a cold start in a while. Let me give you one quick. Just arrived, we've got Matthew over here, Mark 1, and then we've got Jason. I haven't really seen his car in the vlog, I don't think I've introduced it yet, but this is Jason. I think he's got FK coilovers in here, and then we've got Wade, and then this is Kirsten, the car that I mentioned that we'd be introducing, but she's a bit camera shy. But this is Kirsten's ST. Um, it drives like it has a lowering kit, but I'm not sure if it's just a sport suspension in the SD or if it's a lowering kit, but that's what she's got or she got it as is. Looks really nice, but she might do a couple of stuff and I'll bring you along with that. She wants to put an exhaust on and there's a few things that she wants to do as well. Just gonna try and get some rolling shots in this road, see if we can get a couple of decent shots and I'll post those up on Instagram.
just finished with the photo shoot. I hope I got at least one or two decent pictures of each. We're gonna get some breakfast now and then maybe just take a bit of a drive after that and then I will give you guys a review or mine and Wade's opinion on the drivability of both sets of coilovers. A few inches later. This is Matthew's car now from what we did last time. We added actually spaces to the rear and it's sitting very nice. Initially he got for the front and then he put in the rear not too long ago and it sits so nice like a little poke and that's why i want to get the rear just so it fills that fender gap so we just finished up for the day i think it was i looked through the photos we got i think we got at least one or two of each car um like i said rollies isn't the easiest to get you guys asked for a review on the previous video um of how the mark six drive so just gonna let Wade speak a bit about it and then I'll also give my opinion on the Mark 1. Wade? Um, compared to standard, it drives a lot similar. The car's obviously a lot lower. But I'm not experienced in any um, hopping or um, hard knocking or rattling or anything. So um, I'd give it, to be completely honest, I'd give it like a 9 out of 10. Um, you compare and, it to the pieces in your Accord? Yeah, so it's very similar. I've had brand new PCs in the Accord, so I could make the comparison now with brand new ARC. Um, it's also depending, it depends on the car also, but um, it drives very similar. So I don't know if it's the car, because um, I drove another Golf 6 with jump coilovers in them, um, and it, it drove much different. It's a lot harder, um, it took the bumps very hard, it took um, speed bumps very hard small knocks you'd hear every every small thing so the rc is actually i rated actually very high while for the golf six so yeah it's all dependent on the car also but i'm very very happy with all the rc in the golf six very happy yeah that's true it is i think dependent on the car because if i compare it to the mark one okay you can't compare it to the mark one but um, the mark one got quite a bit of a bounce but i wasn't expecting anything less because obviously how low the car is I can raise it, I also didn't take the, um, the alpha springs out, but obviously I want the stiffness for racing, that's why I'm not taking the um, alpha's out, but yeah, it gives a bit of a bounce, I've driven in a Mark 1 with charm as well, and it gives a very similar drive, funny enough, when I have a weight in, it drives, it's less bouncy, but as soon as I'm alone in the car, you feel the hops a bit more, but it's, it's bearable, and yeah, then yeah, like I said, the car is quite low and I also have to give a shout out to all guys that drive low cars. I have so much more respect for you. It's like an art trying to find a, a route to wherever you want to go and going over speed bumps and all that. But yeah, quite a challenge to find or to drive. Yeah, but anyway, that's it for this week's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Uh, back on deck on my fly uh, back Really on, really on my uh, Pay some respect to my mindset Hair blowing smoke, catch a contact